surgery trend apparently spurred on by social media. A new study finds people are asking surgeons to make them look like they do in their Snapchat filters. The trend could be a sign of a deeper issue like body dysmorphic disorder. News 8's Joe Malillo talked to doctors from IU Health about this and joins us with more information. Joe? Yeah, luckily, you know, the doctor told me essentially that people aren't looking to look like those puppy dog uh, filters. Yeah, they don't but, want an actual ears. Yeah, uh. right. But they're they're looking to look better, and maybe they're actually taking some of their best pictures and bringing them to the Dirk, uh, the doctor, to try to have surgery uh, to make themselves look that way. But ultimately, doctors at IU warn it could mean there's a bigger issue to this behind that request. Snapchat is a social media app known for photo messages that disappear only after a few seconds. It also offers a face filter that can make blemishes disappear and enhance your lips and eyes. And Boston University School of Medicine researchers say a doctor, uh, doctors are reporting more people are using altered photos as examples of what they want to look like. Consist constantly worrying about flaws on your appearance is a sign of body dysmorphic disorder. So they also say filters in Snapchat are altering people's perception of beauty worldwide in a dangerous way. Well, that's fed into the body dysmorphic disorder tendencies. Dr. William Wooden from IU's Department of Plastic Surgery says it's important to make sure patients know what they're asking for before doing it and not being able to reverse it. The problem with that is once you've gone to that extreme, you're now down a road. And if you were unhappy before and it hasn't met your expectations, now we've actually done more damage to that person's psyche and it's irreversible. And that can then create even a more de de devastating cascade of events where then psychiatric support and counseling may have even a bigger problem to deal with. Yeah, according to another study by Johns Hopkins University, the School of Medicine, about 13% of patients asking for cosmetic surgery do suffer from BDD. So Dr. Wooden also says he sees a lot of people here locally that usually come in for just eyes, nose, and face surgery. Um, it's a, mostly cosmetic, but he also says in the end, our differences is what makes our community unique. So think about it before surgery. Absolutely good advice there. Thank you, Joe.